Now let us study about the speculative demand of money. What is speculative demand of money? In simple layman's term it means it is a store of wealth and this store of wealth is done in many forms. It can be in the form of buying land, buying bond, buying bullions or keeping the money as such. When I want to divide it, I will say that let us put all of them the land, bond, bullion under one and call it as bond and second shall be the money that I have. Now what should I do to get more profit out of the money that I have? Or what should be the proper use of the extra money that I have? It would be the best to put it in the bank and earn interest. Now there that means there is a big relationship between the rate of interest and the speculative demand of money. Now what is this relationship? The relationship is that when the rate of interest is high that is the time that the speculative money shall become lower that is I shall be putting more in the bank and not putting it otherwise but if the rate of interest is lower then there is a higher speculative money. This is inverse relationship of the rate of interest and the speculative demand of money. The next important term in this context is the liquidity trap. Liquidity trap is when the rate of interest is very low and people are expecting that it is going to future dip that is liquidity trap when the money remains inactive when there the money is not doing its functional part when it is not becoming active that is called as liquidity trap. What is the monetary system of India in, in India? The monetary system in India is such that the reserve bank of India issues the paper currency notes which are standard money that is to say they are accepted, authorized, issued by the Reserve Bank of India that is notes, all notes above rupees 2 and above are issued by the Reserve Bank and they hold on the guarantee that the person who has it will get the value of the denominator. Well, for this, for issuing the paper currency, the Reserve Bank of India maintains a minimum reserve system. That is, it has equivalent gold in its stock for whatever it is issuing the currency. So, though we have a representative money system, that is the paper currency standard system in India, but the Reserve Bank of India withholds the value of that representative currency in store in the form of gold reserves.